Today, Frankenstein is getting a new rad. Okay, so let's start with unboxing this thing. So obviously this is a Yonaka Motorsports performance radiator. It's a, an aluminum dual core. Uh, it's still a half rad, so it should fit in the Civic okay. Uh, so let's get this thing unboxed and see what we got here. Of course, to start off, we got ourselves some stickers. Add those to the collection. Looks like I got a toque. Oh, we got something else down here. Another lanyard. Got two of those now. At least they didn't send me like a 2XL shirt this time. So this one came with a 12 inch slim fan. Already installed looks like. With the aluminum shroud. Looking good so far. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Should be a direct bolt on, so we'll see how it fits. I'm still worried about uh, the fan, whether or not it's going to hit the slave cylinder or not. So currently I have the, the factory fan mounted on the front side, so I may end up having to do that with this as well. But I won't know until I test fit it, so let's get into that. Alright, so first thing I'm going to do is pop the hood on Frankenstein here. Uh, we got to drain all the coolant out of the rad that's in there now. Uh, get that thing out of there, and then uh, we'll see how well this one fits. Alright, well that didn't take very long at all. I got the rad out of the Civic now. Uh, so let's have a look at both of them side by side before I put the new one in. So in looking at both of them side by side, they look very close. So it should bolt right in, I would think. Um, everything seems to be in the same places, so the hoses should be good to line up properly. Um, again, the only thing I'm really worried about is whether or not this fan is going to clear the clutch slave cylinder because it's very close and it was already pretty close on the stock rad without the fan so we won't know until we try but looking at them here this one looks quite a bit thicker than the stock one like as you can see from the side kind of this is this is how thick the core is on uh, the factory one come along to the side of this one it's at least twice that so we'll be able to run twice the amount of coolant through the rad so hopefully that'll help me with my uh, cooling problems on the track anyway let's get this new one installed and see how it fits Alright, so that didn't take very long to realize that this one will not fit 
while this fan is in the way. So I had to remove this one. So if you've seen our older videos, you kind of know uh, how we had this one set up. But basically it was mounted on the front side of the stock rad. So it would have been on the other side of the rad support here. And at that point it did not come into contact with the stock rad. But in trying to test fit the new one, it was in contact with it. So I've removed it now. Hopefully that gives us the little bit of extra room that we need and then we can clear everything with this one. I really hope I don't have to remount this fan because it would be nice to keep it uh, as this setup the way it's supposed to be. Uh, so let's do the test fit now and see how it fits. A few moments later. Okay, so now I've taken the shroud and the fan off just to see how the rad fits in there without it. And it does fit pretty good, but as you can see, it is very close to the clutch slave cylinder. So there's no way that I'm going to be able to get that fan to fit even without the shroud on there. It's still contacting it, so I will end up having to mount the fan on the front side just like I did before. So what I'm going to do, I think, is loosen this nut and flip the blade around and that should allow it to blow this way so that I can mount it on the front side properly and then it won't be contacting the rad. So I'm gonna try that and see what we end up with. Okay, well that seems to have worked. I reversed the fan blade and uh, hooked it up to the battery and now it's blowing. So now I gotta find out a way to mount it to the front of the car, which means I probably have to take the front bumper off. I really didn't want to, but it's looking like I'm gonna have to. So I guess I'll do that and then uh, we'll figure it out from there. Okay, so I got this fan mounted as luck would have it. These holes here, they actually lined up perfectly with existing holes in the car already. So it just bolted right in, so that's perfect. This should work, I think. It won't be as efficient as it would be if it was a puller, but there's no other way to make it fit. So I think this will work okay. It worked just fine uh, in the other setup that I had, so let's put the rad back in there and see how everything fits. All right, the rad is installed. I got it filled with coolant now. I've bled the system, so I think we're good to go. I didn't see any leaks so far, so fingers crossed we did it right. Um, only real problem that I had after the fan issue was uh, the bottom rad hose, I guess, is a little smaller diameter than uh, the fitting on the radiator, so uh, trying to fit it on there was a real headache. I got it on there about halfway, uh, so I'm still not super stoked about where it's sitting on there, but I was able to get it on enough that I could get a hose clamp on there. What I'll probably end up doing eventually is buying uh, some aftermarket rad hoses too. Um, some that are a little bit newer and they'll be stretchier, they'll be able to fit over the, the fitting a lot better than uh, the factory hoses. Keep in mind this car is from 1996, so it's pretty old already. The hoses are pretty brittle, so uh, I tried heating the hoses up, I tried um, greasing them, and I just had no luck getting them on there any further. So other than that, I'm pretty happy with the way it sits in there. Um, if it was a stock motor in there, I'm sure it would have just fit right in without modifying the fan at all, but uh, I think this will work okay. Uh, where the car was starting to run hot was on the track when I was pushing it hard. So as soon as I would slow down and I would be idling again, then it would cool right down. So I don't see any overheating happening while I'm idling. It's going to be 
uh, while the car is in motion or while I'm pushing it hard on the track. So uh, this should make a huge difference I think, it'll help a lot. Um, but I won't know for sure until I hit the track again. So hopefully I hit the track again soon. Uh, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Give us a share. You know what to do. We'll see you next time.